Hi, I'm Sarah from SewingMastery.com, and it is time to start the Husqvarna Viking Designer Ruby Royale videos. Now, we're going to start by opening up this box, seeing everything that comes in with the machine and the embroidery unit, and then start in on every page of the manual. Nice short video to give you just what you need to get started and to take you throughout the entire machine. We're going to do embroidery. We're going to talk about stabilizers hooping and every stitch on this machine. Now, if you happen to have a Ruby or Ruby Deluxe, these videos are also for you. So there might be a few things that have changed, but I think you're gonna be able to figure them out no problem whatsoever. So are we ready to get started? So the Ruby Royale really has a wonderful selection of everything. When you go into the sewing side, when you go into the embroidery, it really is top notch. Now right along the side, there is an accessory packet that is triangular. We're gonna go through everything that is in here. You also have your power cords, and there's usually a, a foot running around. So make sure you, that you make, well, when you open it, uh, you know where everything is. And you'll have a pack of accessories. Your manuals are in here, your warranty. Get that warranty sent in or registered online because there will be updates from time to time that you'll want to actually do. This machine does have a hard case. So I'm going to actually pull that out first. So the hard case is actually in over the machine. And when we pull this out, we get everything here. Great. So we have a little styrofoam that supports everything and then your foot control is right here. Give it a little squeeze and that will come right out. You know, save your box because you never know when you might travel with it and you want to keep it nice and protected. So there's also some feet that are act underneath the presser foot. You'll need to plug the machine in so the foot will raise and then these will come out. We have an accessory box that's already on the machine. Okay, so that's pretty much what's in here. When we get into the accessory box here, we're going to pull out power cord. There's a cable that will connect when you do embroidery. So if you wanted to connect from your machine to the computer directly, that's what this cable is for. And again, with all your manuals and your sampler book, these are all the designs that come with the machine. Oh my goodness, look at those. We're gonna get into a lot of the different varieties of techniques that you can do all with that. And also your USB um, stick is also in here too. So we'll get, that, get to those. I'm gonna set these kind of aside as we get in and get ready to open up the embroidery module box. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna put this down here. This one does take a little bit more room to open up. All right, so in the embroidery unit, I like to lay it down, flip it over, and they'll come right on up. It's kinda of got this little suction, so I give it time there. Okay, so there's our box. Now this styrofoam, do keep it and down the road, if Viking has another accessory box, we've had it before, or an accessory bag that you can um, tote your embroidery unit in, this styrofoam is part of it. Now I can't tell if I'm upside down. Nope, let's see. Yes, I am, I am upside down. So I'm gonna flip it over. There we go. Okay, so inside the styrofoam, you are going to have a packet of some basic thread, some scissors, some hoop clips, and some fabric to get you started. So that's in there. Your embroidery unit. Now notice how it fits in here. So if you are packing it back up, there's gonna be a place in your machine that's called a park position. That park position actually makes the arm come all the way to where the styrofoam folds and contains it just perfectly. Uh, if you're brand, if it's a brand, brand new machine, this machine has been opened once before, there is a red clip in here. So if your dealer has not already pulled that red clip out, you won't be able to embroidery until you do. So just, it's just a little squeeze, but it's very obvious. Pull that out. You can discard it. It's no big deal to um, keep it. We always take them out for our customers here. There's actually a little note about that red clip. So make sure that you're not um, stepping over that. Okay. So you have two hoops that come with this machine. You're going to have the 360 by 200 wonderful large. That's eight inches by 14 inches ish. And then also a 120 by 120, that's five by five. Now, if you'll notice, there's a lot of space between these two hoops. So Viking is known for many, many different sizes of hoops. You probably will treat yourself to a couple of them somewhere in the middle here. So you have a wide range of um, designs you can do without wasting so much stabilizer. And we're gonna show you some tricks along the way. So those are our two major boxes. We're gonna start to assemble everything. We're gonna start with the sewing videos first 
you're looking for the embroidery videos, find the ones further down the playlist here. And of course, sewingmastery.com is going to have everything right at your fingertips. So we'll see you in the next video.